Hi, my name is Chris Yonker. I started in sales back in 1992. At the time, I was in a, in a direct sales scenario, selling advertising. And I've really found that for entrepreneurs and really any executive within an organization, your ability to, to sell it really comes down to your direct relation of how well you can influence other people. It's a massive skill that if you can learn to master, <laughs> the really you can create <clears throat> a world as your oyster. So here's a question for you. What's the number one reason why qualified prospects do not buy? Well, the answer is, is in, this, in this case, it's 85% of the time, according to the study, is perceived risk. I mean, have you ever bought anything that you wish you had not? I mean, who hasn't, right? I mean, everybody would be raising their hand on that course of bought something I wish I had not. <clears throat> but so the prospect is looking through a, uh, scenario where they're, they're balancing out pleasure and pain, right? So they got pleasure and pain and they're working these two, two polarities, right? And on one side we want to pursue pleasure and the other side we want to stay away from pain. And perceived risk is painful, isn't it? And what happens is we want to move, part of us wants to move forward and part of us wants to, to, to take advantage of, of, the, of, of a better world. But part of us is afraid that if we go forward, we're going to spend more money than we need to. Or we're going to, you know, we're going to get something we, we wish we should have got something else. And so what do we do? In most cases, the prospect does nothing. They sit, they sit still and they come up with objections. They spin them out and they can't get off center. So what you can do in a sales situation is, is, is become the lowest risk provider. Master the ability to ask questions and really get to what's behind holding that person back and then remove that perceived risk to help them move forward. I'm Chris Yonker, thanks for watching.